what is dude here? Where he come from? What this dude, the one that oh, we gonna let him back in here just like that? He just walk back in when he feel like showing up. Oh, Mister, I'm gonna go jet set and I'm gonna be all over the world. I can go and do whatever I want. What makes you think you can be back here with us? Like you good enough to be one of us anymore? You ain't one of us. You don't know what it's like for our struggle. What we didn't done? Where we been? Where you been at for all the things we didn't done? Who you been? <laughs> oh, he, he. Clovis back, Clovis. Clovis is back. Clovis is back. Oh, welcome to, uh, you know, Nelvin the Void. Clovis back. Clovis is back. Clovis is back. Clovis is back. Welcome to Delvin the Void. My name is Sean Washington. I'm here with these two. Jeremy Holder. Clovis Bordeaux. And we are amazed that we have the return of our prodigal son here. This guy here who has, uh, you know, been all over the world and back. What has been going on? Where you been, man? You want to zoom in close on that? <laughs> Fivecrest.com. Really? Really? So oh, this is the shameless plug moment. That's a shameless plug moment. Oh, this is even shameless. Right. So this true. is a, look. I could have pretended. It's like you been, start tapping it too. Like yeah. I could have been very, very much like, hey, I've been in Indianapolis at Gen Con. You knew I was in Indianapolis at Gen Con. Why was I in Indianapolis at Gen Con? To sell this beautiful Fresh. little baby right here. Fresh. This little kid right here that's grown some legs. Um, no, I was at Gen Con. You gotta make it sound creepy when you say that. You really I know, that. that's why I it's a little It's a little creepy that's, when you do it like that. It's just, that's, not that's, that I don't want you to change up who you are. Be who you are. You just know that's you're creepy. That's why I stopped. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, um, Gen Con, um, 61,000 people, a lot of shaking hands, a lot of, uh, late nights, uh, trying to, you know, make some deals happen. Um, it was a good time. And then after that, um... A lot more work um, getting the game's name out there a little bit more. So that's where I've been. So you're going to be around for a while or are you uh, dipping again soon? I'm here this week. <laughs> <laughs> that's pathetic, man. That's that pathetic. That's straight up pathetic. He's like, it's going to be a hit, man. I don't know. Um, I'll be here for another eight minutes. I mean, another. Uh, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, over the next few months, we'll be in and out of this side of Michigan. Um, as we travel around the states, uh, doing in sh or in doing in stores um, for Five Crests. So you know what's crazy is you can actually almost you know take a camera to these things and like film some of the fans and stuff because I know fans hey. love seeing themselves on TV. Well, I guess we should like catch them up because we no. did. We was weird Not while you were gone. We did this thing where we made TV shows. And we talked about stuff, and we talked about like, lots of cool stuff. Like uh, we did this whole thing on Ant Man. Oh, it was it was amazing. Like I was gonna be there, but then like I got called away on a speaker. Something un unimportant. You know what? Probably. You know what? Don't you judge me. Don't you judge me. Something unimportant. <laughs> so school quick off. recap. You for are me. a horrible person. You are a horrible it's, person for TV. It's, like, it's an email. Ant Man <laughs> was awesome. I enjoyed it. Um, I would give it five high fives. High fives? <laughs> we have a high five scale now, really? <laughs> He's just going to come up there. We're just making stuff up as we go, kids. Um, I don't think anyone should touch your hand five times in a row after... Uh... <laughs> After those gloves, <laughs> as sweaty as my hand was, here have a pool of sweat. High five! I want to uh, burn it off. <laughs> um, I, I give it five high fives out of. Let's go ten. Seriously, I, I thought it was better than that. Right? I thought it was a decent movie. Um, what did the fans say about it? Well, you know, <clears throat> as you guys um, saw in the previous episode, I went ahead and was had a chance to interview some fans. And um, this is actually what uh, Nathan said, who, as you know, was one of the persons I interviewed. He said, I thought it was entertaining, and the acting was with a good story and character development, quote, for Ant-Man, unquote. 
I like Paul Rudd as Ant-Man, and I'm happy to see him part of the Marvel Universe. I hope to see a future Ant-Man movie and then bring back Michael Douglas and Evangeline Lilly to repress their roles. Couldn't have said it better myself. I agree. Reprise? Reprise. Repress. Reprise. Whatever. You know the word. It's all English. Just keep you it. Same thing. Um, I don't like that. I'm tired. So, yeah. We'll get to that. So, Ant-Man was great. It's awesome. One movie that we're going to jump to that I really want to get into. No, don't do it. Oh, my God. Because I love to hate it. Don't do it. Is what we're going to call Fantastic Four. <laughs> it doesn't even get a name anymore. It's just like this the thing. It was the movie it formerly it known as Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four. <laughs> um, I didn't waste my money on it. What did y'all think? I, I wasted it, my money. It. Um, it was gloriously horrible. Um, I'm going to tell you a little about me, kids. I tend to like the really bad movies. Because you can see all the flaws. And the flaws make me happy. And if a movie can show all its flaws, like Fantastic Four can show all its flaws, I have hope for the future of our children. Um, it was just a horrible movie. Like, I mean, not even trying bad. Like, we gave up halfway through making this movie, realized it was going to be a crappy movie, but we all got paid. So we're just going to stay for the rest of the time type of movie. Well, you um, do know that it, they did have different directors go through it, so you could... No, you could, you, Josh Trank is the only was director... It was, diff- it was, it different, was different writers. Different writers, okay. But Josh Trank is the only director that started that movie from beginning to end. Josh Trank has come out and said, I had a different vision yeah. for this movie, but this is not the movie that you get to see. Yeah. What Josh Trank created and what we saw on screen... After I can't heavy imagine editing and reshoots. And well, okay, granted, re-scribes. heavy editing, reshoots, yada yada. But yada. you don't reshoot something that's great. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, you see, you, you don't I start the movie. The movie does the not start Citizen Kane. You know, <laughs> this is why I was saying. When I saw the trailer, I was like, "Wow, this movie actually looked like it had some hope." You know, I mean, it looked like the direction was right. It's dark and gritty. They were using cool. Kanye West kids. Yeah. Kanye West. What that did was your, just, what you and your brother say when you uh? Oh, you I would say when me and my brother went to go see the movie, we walked out of there. We was just like, you know, we're building, we're building, we're building. It just skips a whole year of all this. We was like, what? And when it ended, it literally ended in a way that we walked out completely, 100% really disappointed. I mean, it was just, and you know me, you see me in the show all the time. Almost everything usually I like because, you know, I always look for the good and everything. There was no real good to look at. I like the casting. But other than that, everything else is just, you know. Look, kids, you don't know me from Tom. You don't really care if I I, I, I like this movie or not. But I'm going to tell you this. Where was the act? There's a thing called a three-act play. Most movies are based off of this theory that you have three acts. First act is set up. Uh, conflict is the second act. And resolution is your third act. Fantastic Four ignored all these acts just to just put some weird, weird <laughs> crap on screen. That's the thing. It, it felt like you were watching the movie and was just setting up, setting up, setting up. And he was like, at the very end, it's like, wow, that, this is just fantastic. It's like, I like that. Like what? I like that word. And then all of a sudden, it just ended. It was like, Fantastic Four. Did you four. just ruin the whole I'm movie just, for us? Is, does that ruin the whole movie right there? Really? Is that the end if of that's that? what ruins this movie no, for I'm you, sorry. That, you it was like missed this whole first half two minutes. It was of us saying, <sighs> wow, really bad. No, really, movie. really did feel like, like that's one thing we was talking about. It felt like the whole movie was setting up, setting up, setting up. You know, there was, there was trying to understand their powers, you know. Then it skipped one whole year. It's like a whole year of setting gone so it's like okay now they're in the base and whatnot and this is so on and so forth you know and then next thing you know they go in it hits the fan everything's going bad destruction for no reason which by the way was destruction pretty much of like you know a forest area because they're out in the middle of nowhere it wasn't even really city destruction like the trailer showed but i'm like all this set up and then it just ended it's just like you you get ready you're going through with the ball you're getting ready to follow up and you just for no reason Pat the ball that way, and there's the hoop. Where, where did he go? There Side was note, no do direction. any of us look like we play basketball? <laughs> I play basketball. 
<laughs> Some fans, the, I think, play basketball. play basketball well. All right, so the, <laughs> where are I they do, going I'm, with this I'm movie? I'm quite I athletic. I'm, I'm awesome. I don't know about these two. These two. I don't know what they're doing with that movie. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, my gosh. I'm sorry to anybody who saw the movie, too. Okay. Uh, I, I, I hated it. We're going to say that. I, you guys sound a little bit on the fence about it, but we're going to go with maybe, you know, you guys need to go ahead and make your own choices. If you actually like the movie, you disagree with these two, which is easy to do because they That's are who they are. are. Go ahead and uh, leave a comment on Facebook. Let them know that they're insane because I like that idea. Another thing we talked about that you missed that you should have been here for, Mr. Robot. My goodness, what a phenomenal show that you don't know nothing about because you act like you're too busy, like you got a job There's or something. There's so many things going on. Why should I go ahead and dedicate my time from other shows that's now about to get started because like Doctor Who's about to come back? it's the greatest show that has been on the air in years. It is the first time we've ever taken that subculture, that 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 group of folks and they they actually did they they actually cared about the material enough to actually write to it in a way that isn't like oh let me get out my 33 6 modem on oh, my 80 my 486 will be able to oh, my God. so kids it was horrible in the previous years they did a good job with it there was a movie back in the 90s called hackers <laughs> yes i was referring to hackers uh, and let Uncle Clovis tell you a story. Yeah. Hackers was the worst movie before yeah. Fantastic Four. <laughs> um, was it was a just a god-awful movie. Fantastic Four. But the thing about Mr. Robot that gets it right is that it deals with a mental illness correctly. Um, mm -hmm. It deals Absolutely. with hacking. And again, do any of us look like we're hackers? So, we don't know what hacking, real hacking, really, really. Uh, You're hackers? I did hacking. And you got to remember, I also got going for, you know, computer information and gaming simulation at Davenport. Yeah. So, I am a technologist. Okay. So, two of us. Technology. Two of us. I'm a nerd into all that. I mean, like, just because, look, I, I built a computer doesn't C++. make me a hacker. I'm, I'm just saying, like, I, I'm a script kitty. I understand yeah. what I am. I'm a script kitty. But uh, that Kids. Me, some of the people out there right now are going, what is, Ignore this over what here. is that? So, I mean, at least what I know I'm what I'm saying is, is that it was a good representation of a lifestyle that not many people get to see. Besides Hacker's 1996 movie. Um, which was horrible. So, all in all, the plot's great. Great writing. Great acting. Like, the main kid, does anybody know his name? I haven't seen it. Oh. Um, yeah, that one dude. Yeah. There'll be a name at the bottom of the screen, <laughs> and, and you'll just know it. Um, <laughs> great. Great acting. He, uh, yeah, he did a good job. Even Christian Slater. I don't like Christian Slater. He's like the cheap man's Jack Nicholson. You know? In a, great in, actor on that. Even all the way through the movie, the, the, every episode that he's in, and the way that it all comes together, even though... It, even at the beginning of the, the show, you kind of understand what's going on, but then there's enough information there where you kind of doubt what you think you know, and then what you think you know, you they, by the end of it, you know some stuff, but you don't know enough, and what you do know isn't necessarily right. It, it's phenomenal what it does. You what, think you know, but you have no idea. Exactly. The thing that gets me, as I look at that, and I look at all the things that are going on in our world right now, what that really brings to light for me is how when you take all of the technology and all of pop culture and all of the all, all the stuff and you combine it together, how where it used to be like we were talking earlier before we even did the show, we were talking about how you know you go back to radio and you go back to TV and rock music and all these things drive the they've all the different points of innovation have driven politics and driven decision making and policy making and I think we were discussing how like we're at that crux now we're at that point and I think Mr. Robot really brings that out in that the revolution isn't with guys with guns flooding in from like China it's a couple of dudes with a laptop you know and, and the, the world isn't we're not bound by the borders as we used to be we're not. How do you how do you build a wall to, to stop people from coming in when we've got an internet that lets them come in at light speed? 
life has changed no dramatically. It's what we do. Uh, you build a better firewall. You know, but that Anything one is a lot cheaper than you know a million dollars a mile. So as we move forward, it. I think that's it, just as expensive as a million dollars a mile. Yeah, you got a point there. By the time it's all said and done, 